Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. We are here with week number 32 of the hashtag 52 projects. Uh, hashtag 52 projects are just simple projects that I bring to you every week. You could do most of them under 30 minutes. They are great crafter ideas and they're great for bringing your crafty mojo back. Any skill level can do these projects. Um, I get them from YouTube, Instagram, Google, I make them up, um, whatever I'm feeling. This week we um, are going to do a project by Dina. She's a creative need. It's a blog um, and it's called Wrapped and Ready. It is this super cute acetate box. I did mine all gold and I filled it with some Werther's Original. How beautiful would that be on a golden cream table for like Christmas setting or wedding or whatever. Um, so the top and the bottom, it is a snug fit. So you do want to use a paper that has give. Um, I did use a thicker paper. It comes out, but it's just not as nice as if you have the paper with the give. I don't even have mine taped down. Um, in her tutorial, she has the bottom taped, but it's such a snug fit. I'm okay with it, um, you know, not being taped down. But I'm going to show you to tape it down on the bottom, but not the top for this tutorial. Okay, so you need a piece, well you need two pieces of 3x3 three three paper. Um, I like the foil paper because it's just thinner. Um, if you have those, you know, single sided, um, thinner scrapbook pages, this would be perfect for it. Um, and you're also going to need a piece of acetate that measures three and a half by eight and a quarter. Three and a half by eight and a quarter. So here's my acetate. I still have the backing on it so that way, um, you know, I can see it on my desk. All right, so we're going to go ahead and score the three by three pieces first. And for both of them, you're just going to score at a half an inch on all four sides. So half an inch, rotate, half an inch rotate half an inch rotate okay do that to both half an inch rotate half an inch rotate half an inch rotate and we're good with that okay set those two aside get your acetate and we're going to score it at two, four, six, and eight. So two, four, six, and eight. So you have the tiniest little quarter inch flap right here. Okay, let's go ahead and move our scoreboard. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and varnish our score lines, which acetate, I know it's a little difficult to work with. I'm gonna have to pick mine up out of the camera, but I'm just varnishing it. I'm just going on the folds. I just can't see it in frame. So just go ahead and when you find your score line, go ahead and fold on your score line and you're gonna varnish. Now, as you can see, the acetate is going to pick up anything that you have on your desk. So before we, you know, um, seal the box up, we'll clean the acetate off. All right, go ahead and do your next score mark. And I thought I did these pretty heavy handed, but I guess I didn't. Just kind of make sure it's straight because see, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but mine is a little bit wonky. This is why acetate is a joy and a pain to work with. It's beautiful in the end, but trying to work with it is a pain. Okay. And then this one. This here, I think. Yeah, 
of looks good there. All right, so go ahead and burnish that one. Okay, and then the teeny tiny, the quarter inch one, we need to go ahead and get that burnished as well. All right, and that's when we need to put our quarter inch score tape. Obviously, I wouldn't use wet glue on this because we're working with acetate. So go ahead and get that tape on your little quarter of an inch. And make sure there's no overhang on any of the sides. So just kind of, you know, mash it up. And now we're going to go ahead and close our box. Uh, make sure your acetate is clean before you close up your box because acetate is not forgiving. Um, I'm going to go in and just clean off the glitter that I probably just stuck it in more glitter, but that's okay. You can use a tissue or a cloth or whatever you have. There we go. Alright, so seal your box. Okay. And burnish it. Just make sure that you have that good seal in there. Alright, so the box is pretty much done. Now we just need to make the lids. Um, mine's bowed a little bit, so that means I just didn't get those score marks exactly, but it's fine. Alright, so now we're going to take our scissors and we are going to um, miter the squares, not the rectangles. So you're just going to cut into that and chomp a little off each side. Like so. So cut and cut. And you're going to do the same. You're going to flip it over and do the same to this side. So we're going to cut to the right of that score line and cut on a diagonal to take that little piece out. And just take a little bit off the side. Mm. There we go. Now, um, in the tutorial that um, Dina did, she taped, she put tape on her, um, on her acetate. I did not. Um, for me, it was easier to go ahead and build my bottom box. So all I did was put a little piece of tape on the little tabs. Oh, maybe. And just, I just build my box. That one. Okay. You know, just like a, how you do a regular box, just build your tabs. You're going to do that to both pieces if you want to, or you can do it the way she did it by, um, she taped her, I'll show you on the other piece how she did hers, but this way was easier for me. So there's your little tray. Now, if you want this to be your bottom piece, um, you could go ahead and lay tape on it. Um, or it can be your top piece. It doesn't, it, it doesn't matter at this point unless you're using special different paper, but 
mine doesn't matter. So see how it fits nicely. It's very snug. Um, you can tape it if you want to. You don't have to. I will go ahead and tape the other piece just so you can see. Um, so I'm going to quickly cut these um, pieces in real time. Did you guys get the gist? It's the same process that we did on the other one. these and with the foil paper you don't you really don't have to varnish you know that much because it's, it's very thin all right so I got tape on all four of my tabs you could use a glue dot on this one too. It's because it's you know um, it's a very small area, so it's up to you. If I was mass producing these, I would use a glue dot because it would just be quicker. All right, so for how Dina did hers she took her score tape and she went around her whole bottom of her box I didn't find that necessary and so for one of my other boxes I made um, I just put score tape on opposite sides and that to me was good enough um, obviously you're not going to put anything heavy if you're not taping it if you're just putting some candies in there you know it's fine all right, and then you just take your score tape off if you are brave enough, or you can peel a little bit at a time and you know give yourself like a little wiggle room. You can do that. And all I did was just making sure the score tape, um, you know, didn't touch the edges yet, and then just push it down. I don't even know which size my score tape was on. Ah, here we go. There you go. And then you put your lid back on. And your box is good to go. That's it. You know, fill it with your favorite snacks or whatever snacks cover your, uh, your color combination. And there you have it. I hope you guys make the box. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.